see this. It's just a kid. This is a G chord. He's learning, absorbing. He's getting smarter every day. Homo habilis was the first to use... Linux is a family of open source Unix-like operating systems. The operating system was released on September 17, 1991. And to this very day, the operating system is still alive and healthy. So, how did it become so popular? Let's find out. Precursors. The Unix operating system was conceived and implemented in 1969 at AT&T's Bell Labs in the United States by Ken Thompson, Dennis Richty, Douglas McGlory, and Joe Osana. First released in 1971, Unix was written entirely in an assembly language as, as was common practice at the time. In 1973, in a key, pioneering approach, it was rewritten in the C programming language by Dennis Richie, with the exception of some hardware and I slash O routines. The availability of a high-level language implementation of Unix made its profiting to different computer platforms easier, due to an early antitrust case forbidding it from entering the computer business. AT&T was required to license the operating system source code to anyone who asked. As a result, a Unix grew quickly and became widely adopted by academic system. institutions and businesses. In 1984, AT&T divested itself of Bell Labs. But everywhere Freed of the, the legal obligation requiring free licensing, Bell Labs began selling Unix as a proprietary product, where users kind of were not you legally allowed to modify software. Unix. The GNU project, started in 1983 by Richard Stallman, had the goal of curating a, a complete Unix-compatible software system composed entirely of free software. Work began in 1984. Later in 1985, Stallman started the Free Software Foundation and wrote the GNU General Public License, GNU GPL, in 1989. By the early 1990s, many of the programs required in an operating system such as libraries, compilers, text editors, a Unix shell, and a windowing system were completed, although low-level elements such as device hard drivers, daemons, and the kernel call called GNU slash herd were stalled and incomplete. Linus Torvalds has stated that the GNU kernel had been available at the time, 1991, he would not he would not have decided to write his own. Although not released until 1992 due to legal complications, development of the 386 BSD was from which NetBSD, OpenBSD, and FreeBSD descended predated that of Linux. Torvald has also stated that the that if 386 BSD had been available at the time, he probably would have never curated Linux. Linux was curated by Andrew S. Tannenbaum, a computer science professor, and released in 1987 as a minimal Unix-like operating system targeted at students and others who wanted to learn the operating system principles. Although the complete source code of Minix was freely available, the licensing terms prevented it from being free software until the licensing changed in April 2000. Curation In 1991, while attending the University of Helensky, Torvalds became curious about operating systems. Frustrated by the, limit, by the licensing of Minix, which at the time limited it to educational use only, he began to work on his own operating system kernel, which eventually became the Linux kernel. Torvalds began the development of the Linux kernel on Minix, and applications written for Minix were also used on Linux. Later, Linux matured and further Linux kernel development took place on Linux systems. GNU applications also replaced all Minix components because it was advantageous to use the freely available code 
from the GNU project, which the fledging operating system code license under the GNU GPL can be reused in other computer programs as long as they also release as long as they as long as they also are released under the same Aura compatible license. Torvalds initiated a switch from his original license, which prohibited commercial redistribution to the GNU GPL. Developers work to integrate GNU components with the Linux Hello, kernel, a making a, a fully functional and, and free operating system. Well, well, fancy pants. Naming. New outfits, Linus huh? Torvalds yeah, had wanted to call look. his invention this free app, Vista. a prominent Leopard. of free freak and X oh. as an allusion to Unix. Ooh. During the start of his work Nicely. on the system, some uh, of the project's make that? files included the name FreeX for Did about half a year. Torvalds had also had already considered the name Linux, but initially me? dismissed it uh, probably wear as too egelogical. In order to faci faci facilitate Leather. development, the files yes. were uploaded to the FTP server, ftp.funnet.fi, of Funnet, in September 1991. Ari Lamech, Torvald's co-worker at the, at the Helnitsky University of Technology, HUT, who was one of the volunteer administrators for the FTP server at the time, did not think that FreeX was a good name. So he named the project Linux on the server without consulting Torvalds. Later, however, Torvalds consented to Linux. According to a news group posted by Torvalds, the word Linux should be pronounced Linux, with a short I as in, as in print and U as in put. To further demonstrate how the word Linux should be pronounced, he included an audio guide with the kernel source code. Contradictory in, his, in this recording, he pronounces Linux Linux with a with a short but close unrounded front vowel. Commercial and popular uptake. Adoption of Linux in production environments rather than being used only by hobbyists started to take off first in the mid 1990s. In the in the supercomputing community, where organizations such as NASA started to replace their increasingly expensive machines with, cl with clusters of, in of inexpensive commodity yeah, computers know. running Linux. <laughs> Commercial use began when Dell and IBM, followed by Helot Packard, started offering Linux support to escape Microsoft's monopoly in the desktop operating system market. Today, Linux systems are used throughout computing from embedded systems to virtually all supercomputers and have secured a place in server installations such as the popular LAMP application stack. Use of Linux, dis use of Linux distributions in home and enterprise de desktops has been growing. Linux distributions have also become popular in the netbook market with many devices shipping with customized Linux distributions installed and Google releasing their own Chrome OS designed for netbooks. Linux's greatest success in the consumer market is perhaps the mobile device market with Android being one of the most dominant operating systems on smartphones and very popular on tablets and more recently on wearables. Linux gaming is also on the rise with Valve showing its support for Linux and rolling out SteamOS, its own gaming-oriented Linux distribution. Linux distributions have also gained popularity with various local and national governments, such as the federal government of Brazil. Current development. Greg Cora Hartman is the lead main maintainer for the Linux kernel and guides of and guides its development. William John Sullivan is the, is the executive director of the Free Software Foundation, which in turn supports the GNU components. Finally, individuals and corporations develop third-party non-GNU components. These third-party components compromise a vast body of 
work and may include both kernel modules and user applications and libraries. Linux vendors and communities combine and distribute the kernel GNU components and non-GNU components with additional package management software in the form of Linux distribution. And there's the history of Linux. Everything. How did it become so popular? Well, I would have to say that it would have to be because of all of the operating systems that Linux ran on, such as Android and the Steam OS. Millions? 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 It's become like a very popular thing like over the years, and it's become very popular in business. We moved everything onto that one. Schools as well, although I know that a lot of schools, like my school, they're using uh, Windows operating systems, but there are actually some schools that are actually using Linux operating systems. Anyways, I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to ring that notification bell because I do videos every single day. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.